Tonight's rain put a bit of a damper on night one of the Neptune Festival, but it is full steam ahead as organizers and festival goers say they are ready for a weekend full of fun at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Ten on your sides, Markeisha Jackson has more. The 50th Neptune Festival is looking to be a great one from arts, food, music and much more. There's something here for everyone. An evening that started with rain, wind and evacuations on the boardwalk was not enough to dampen the excitement for the Neptune Festival. I mean, it's great free entertainment. Uh, it, they always have great acts. It's a, usually a great place to see people. Reasons that people like Lori McMullen have been coming back for three decades. I mean, I've seen it grow immensely. You know, when you look down the boardwalk, like as far as you can see that way, as far as you can see that way, there's just tents. When I first started coming, it was not this big at all. The three day boardwalk weekend draws over 400,000 visitors and this year's 33 block long celebration of beach life promises to be the biggest. I will have the grand parade. We've got everything going on. Dock dogs, touch a truck, uh, the fun uh, free family yeah. fun zone and healthy haven beach yoga. It needs to be something for everyone and that's what we strive to do every single year. Neptune Festival organizers say with the rain behind us, we're still pressing ahead and sunshine expected. Get out here over the weekend. Why not? If the, the weather's going to be great, the oceanfront is the place to be. And you can meet some of your favorite Wavy 10 team members this weekend at Neptune Festival for a list of who's going to be here, as well as all the events and festivities that the festival has lined up. You can find those over on wavy.com. At the oceanfront, Markeisha Jackson, 10 on your side.